Hey y'all, uh, here's a lesson on how I play uh, If I Were a Carpenter. The Robert Plant arrangement from, I think that was on Fate of Nations. So this one's tuned to the album recording. And I listened to a live one from 93, and that one was tuned down from this, so, you know, probably uh, just for live performance, his voice probably wasn't quite up to wasn't quite up to the task, so they, they tuned down. But, uh, so I'm not sure if this is true D or not, but this is what you're tuned to. So your low E is this, to match your D string. So it, it's, uh, it sounds, you might think it's finger picked, but it's actually done with a, you know, the plectrum. And uh, it starts with... It sounds like there's a lot going on there, but there really isn't. So you're, in, you're with uh, a D. That's on the D, G, and B string. So just get that, get that rhythm down before you really get too far into this one, because you're going to do that a lot. So in the intro, it's this. D. Walk up your A string, 0, 2, 3, to a C chord. So that's C, three, two, zero on the A string. That's low E string at the fifth fret. And you kind of slide it down. So that gets you into where the verse starts. If I were a comic. what most of the verses are. So if I were a car... So that's a C. You just hammer on the D at the second fret. I, I think that confuses people, but it's really... It's not difficult. I mean, that chord, the second one... It's actually just a G. If you were playing a G, you know, if the E string were tuned the way it should be. Um, so it goes, if I were a carpenter, you know, it's C to G to D for that part. But you do a C. So hammer on that D at the second. That one is A at the second fret, hammered on. He actually does hammer it on. And then. D at the uh, B at the third fret for a D note. That's just back to your D. Would you marry me anyway? Would you have my baby? to another intro thing. Now to the second verse. So with the picking pattern, I'm, I'm not too uh, scientific about it and, and I sort of vary it up each time but I think the, the main things are to get the keep hitting that the B at the third fret for that D note Say my love to 
that's a C. My love through love. And then it goes back to C again. C, my love through song. But I like to, I like to voice that second one uh, differently, just for variety's sake. So do the first one. I say my love. That that would be like a bar at C, except I just do the D, G, and B. D. Keep that D note, B of the third fret, covered with an open G string. That second one, open G, D at third, and then open on the D string. And in between them, hammer on the C, uh, C note. A at the third fret to an open D string again, back into that D chord. That's really, I think that's all the sections of it. Say my love through loneliness. Say my love through sorrow. I think that's everything to it. <laughs> and then it'll just end on a... Just like in the intro. But that's a, a good one to sort of make your own in terms of the picking pattern, because if you watch the live versions that he was doing on the Fate of Nations tour, uh, none of them are really like the studio one. So um, I think it's more a matter of feel than anything else. But but it's one to work on if you want to get uh, into memorizing exactly how it is on the album. Uh, let me know if you have any trouble, but that's about it. Good luck.